All right, we have a little treat for you. To get into the holiday spirit, we're doing 12 days of plugins from Everyday AI. All right, so for the next 12 days, we're going to be talking about some of our favorite plugins that maybe we've talked about before for ChatGPT, as well as some new ones that you probably haven't even heard of yet. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump into it right now. So if you haven't already heard of ChatGPT plugins, don't worry, we're going to give you a very, very quick primer. Uh, so you do have to be on the ChatGPT Plus plan, which is $20 a month. They've temporarily paused letting people on there. So uh, you might want to check. Who knows? Maybe it'll be in uh, back in time for the holidays. But if you do already have ChatGPT plugins, all you have to do is click on, uh, make sure you're in plugins mode, and then you'll select the plugin. So for this example, we are showcasing DocMaker, which is a really great plugin. So uh, I'm. Uh, if you ever want to know what a plugin is capable of, ask ChatGPT. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm saying, please tell me what DocMaker plugin does. Keep it simple and bullet point the features. So the thing that I really like about DocMaker is it is flexible. Uh, right now, ChatGPT, you can only have three plugins active. And as I've already covered and no one else on the internet is talking about, when you toggle, so with the new uh, UI UX uh, update that was released in mid-November 2023, when you can, in theory, toggle plug on, plugins on and off. However, it breaks your chat more times than not. So you still do have to be uh, a, a little strategic with what three plugins you want to install. So I like having DocMaker because it's extremely versatile. You can create CSV files, you can create PowerPoint files, create a, a resume, uh, an, an Excel sheet file, a multiple document uh, creation, which is really cool. Uh, the ability to read URLs. Wow. Um, so, so many different things that you can do with the Doc Maker plugin. It is one of the most flexible plugins out there, uh, which is why we're starting with it on our 12 days of plugins. So, I also, just so you know, I also have Web Reader plugin uh, active. More on that uh, later, probably next week. So, I have a prompt all ready to go. Let's put it in and I'll explain to you what's going on. Uh, so, I thought this would be fun. You know, maybe we'll, uh, it's, it's college football playoff season. So I'm saying using the web reader plugin. So I am using two different plugins here, uh, cause I wanted to do this all live without doing anything else. Um, so I'm saying find articles from December, 2023 that make a compelling case for the Florida state university football team. I said they missed the college football playoff, but they probably should have made the four team playoff over Alabama and Texas. We're starting. Hey. It's, it's mid-December, so we're already starting the, the holiday fights. And then, so I'm saying, please give me the top seven reasons. Keep the reasons short with a headline and three bullet points supporting the seven reasons. Here's why. And then I'm saying from that list, please use the DocMaker plugin. So I am using two different plugins. First, I'm using the Web Reader plugin. So ChatGPT, because it's knowledge base in plugins, actually cuts off January 2022, not April 2023. So I'm having to use the Web Reader plugin to get this information that we're going to make this PowerPoint presentation. And then I say from that list, please, please use the DocMaker plugin to create a PowerPoint presentation that I can download in a PPTX format. Pretty cool. So we see web reader went through and it found seven different reasons. Hey, undefeated season, 13 and no record, strong team dynamics, strength of schedule. So it gave me all these uh, great reasons uh, that it used from uh, what it found in web reader. So look at that. It is already done. I was talking so much because I'm so excited about this. It's already done. So you can see uh, it used doc maker and it already made it. Amazing, right? So all I have to do is click that and then it opens DocMaker. Um, and wow, just like that. I mean, look at this. So again, uh, this isn't the best, um, you, you know, template or whatever, but you can obviously go through. Um, and I believe, let me, let me double check here. Um, there are some things that you can do by default. So we're actually in the AI DocMaker.com website. Um, so you can go ahead and download the document, 
uh, you can edit it. It says you can edit it in Google Docs. So it's actually, even though it's a uh, PowerPoint file, you can uh, upload it in Google Docs as well. Um, so, I mean, you can see right there, pretty cool, pretty quick, right? So without really doing anything, all I, all I had to do was properly use two different plugins. But the one I really wanted to highlight here was uh, DocMaker. So let's go ahead and show one more thing. I'm gonna say, great, please um, take those seven reasons and put them in a, uh, let's see, can it use a dot .doc? Let's see, I already forgot. So many different file types. Um, okay, it can create a CSV, an XLS, uh, it can read, uh, it, it can read, let's just see, put them in a dot .doc file. Let's just see, uh, with uh, the doc maker plugin. Let's see, I don't know if it can do uh, dot .doc, uh, maybe, but let's, let's see if it can, maybe it can. So uh, again, some of the different things you can do with DocMaker, create a CSV, a PowerPoint file, which I think is great. Uh, create a resume, create a Excel spreadsheet, multiple document creation, which I like uh, because then you can do multi-page documents, you, you know, so you're not just limited to kind of one page, reading URLs, think, simple uh, markdown as well. I don't know if it can do a, a dot .doc file actually. So, but look at that. It looks like it can. It didn't even say it can, and it it can. So, right there, it took that same uh, that same one right there, and I can download it. So that's a great thing about DocMaker is because so so much of the time when you're using uh, when you're using ChatGPT, uh, unfortunately, you kind of get stuck, right? You kind of get stuck inside of ChatGPT, and all of that great information you have to spend a lot of time copying and pasting, opening different programs, etc. And right there, it's one click download. Pretty great. Uh, all right. What'd you guys think? I hope this was helpful. Um, and are you ready for 11 more days of plugins with the 12 days of plugins at Everyday AI? I hope this was helpful. If so, please subscribe to this channel. Also, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back tomorrow or the next day for more 12 days of plugins with Everyday AI. Thanks, y'all.